Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video we are going to be implementing a simple JavaScript project named Counter from Scratch. So this project would be helpful for people who already know some JavaScript basics but doesn't have much experience in doing some real world projects with it. So for, for those people this would be definitely helpful. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. And if you haven't joined our official code band community, telegram and whatsapp groups, you're most welcome to join them. The links will be in the pinned comment below. So yeah, without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so this is uh, the basic prototype of our application that we are going to be building. So this this actually is a zero. So the counter is initially set to zero. And there, there are three buttons overall, the increment, reset and decrement. And upon clicking increment, this would actually increment by one. And uh, if it is decrement, then it will decrement by one. And reset will actually reset the value to zero. So this is uh, the very simple application, but we are going to be learning a lot from this one. So let's actually uh, write some code. And what I have here is uh, I have created a uh, project folder, counter.js. Inside that I have created an index.html. Now the basic boilerplate is set up. Now we, we, we can just start to write some code. So uh, first we will we, have this um, kind of number here, zero. So um, yeah, we'll just start with the main tag there and um, inside that maybe uh, I'll put a div uh, with a class of maybe counter, maybe an ID, uh, a div with an ID of counter. So counter and this one inside that uh, the default value is zero, so I'll put zero there. And the next thing we do have is three buttons. So uh, I'll, I'll just say a div with a class of maybe uh, buttons for example and yeah we, we'll, we'll have three buttons here so uh, I'll name this as um, a button tag with um, actually um, yeah just a button tag maybe I'll, I'll provide an ID of uh, BTN1 and uh, we'll have increment there so increment now the same thing goes to the other two things so i'll just copy and paste that stuff there now i'll just change the ids to be btn2 btn3 and a reset and uh, the decrement uh, I'll, just, I'll just change the id to be uh, the increment and reset and decrement as well so that it's look much more clean yeah, that's it. Now we have three buttons. We have that counter there. And now we'll actually start to write some JavaScript. So uh, I'll, I'll uh, open this with the live server. Now, if you don't have the live server extension, you can just go to, uh, you can just right click this one, reveal in file explorer, and just double click this index.html and it will open that for you. Now this is what uh, our application will look like. Now, um, I do have live server extension, so, uh, I'll just take that in there now uh, for the live server extension you can go to extensions tab here and search for live server as you can see here you'll see something like this one just install that and you'll get this option open with live server so uh, you can you can see the uh, application there so uh, they pretty much the same uh, and we we, uh, uh, we can actually style them a little bit uh, so for that uh, I'll not be using an external style sheets we'll, we'll just do everything in the style tag mm -hmm. and we can actually um, make uh, I believe we can actually make uh, a class uh, uh, for a common class no we don't actually want that class because we, we just need to actually target the button itself so I'll just say button and um, we'll actually give some padding and 10 pixel then we, we can actually change the background color to be maybe black and a border of two pixels solid black now we can check how it looks like yeah it, it's look clean but uh, we will just change the color to be uh, white as well so sorry for that yeah 
so you can see those buttons there and now uh, we'll also um, we'll, we'll just make this one at the maybe at the center so yeah I'll, I'll just provide some um, padding or margin to this main tag so maybe padding so padding maybe uh, 300 pixels so you can see it is much more aligned to the center so actually we can make this as a flex box and align center align it to center or we can use positioning but we'll, we'll make it simple just like that and yeah we'll, we'll just reduce this to 200 so that it's look clean now the actual styling is up to you you can make uh, in whatever style you want but the idea is the javascript code behind so i'll also make this zero to be uh, maybe uh, I'll add a text line center so everything is in the center now yeah with that being said uh, we will just increase the size of that zero it's looking very tiny so I'll just say con uh, counter maybe the ID of counter right so hash counter and um, I'll, I'll just make maybe the font size to be um, 30 pixel so let's look oh, yeah. now it's looking clean and i'll also give some a margin bottom uh maybe uh 20 pixel and i'll increase the size to be 50 as well yeah now it's looking much cleaner so with this being said we'll actually write some um, javascript code there so uh, up at the bottom I'll, I'll open the script tag i'll not be using external uh, external javascript so in the style tag we'll, we'll first fetch Mm, all those um, I uh, all those buttons and uh, the counter itself so for that I'll just say const um, uh, the first is a counter so counter is equal to document dot get element by uh, it and the counter now we, we can of course use a jQuery and all which will makes this process a little bit easier but we'll stick with vanilla JavaScript uh, so that um, yeah it'll be much more uh, clean so um, I'll fetch the increment there. Increment btn is equal to the same exact stuff. Document dot get element by id. Uh, the id is increment. So I'll just copy the same exact stuff there. Thrice, maybe uh, not twice. Twice. So increment button, reset button. So the id is reset, and the decrement button. So decrement and yeah that's it we have fetched all those stuff now next thing we'll, we'll initialize a counter variable so a counter value maybe um, is equal to zero so for, uh, at first this would be zero right so uh, what we are actually doing is upon clicking these buttons we'll actually uh, increment or decrement or reset the value so before that I'll make the button to be cursor pointer so that it's uh, like the clickable icon is there so that's perfect now uh, we'll actually add some uh, event listeners to these three buttons there so I'll, I'll just say uh, the increment button dot add event listener now we can of course use the uh, the uh, something like um, uh, maybe click event there so we, we can use of course like on click listener here directly there but this one looks much more cleaner so I'll, I'll stick with this one uh, so upon clicking increment button will execute an anonymous function so I'll say like um, this this would receive the event so this anonymous function would receive the event now we'll just increment the counter value that's all we have to do because this is the increment button right so i'll just say counter value uh, plus equals to one and that would do that would do the trick now the same thing i'll i'll just say like the decrement button so decrement btn add even listener the same exact stuff but instead i'll just say minus equal to one because we need to decrement a value right so that's okay now the same applies for the reset button so i'll say reset btn and click event now the counter value will will set that to zero if if, if someone clicks on reset then we'll actually reset that counter to be zero now with this being said if we actually go into our application and click on increment mm, i believe and uh, something is gone wrong something has been wrong there so 
Let's actually check what's gone wrong. So the kind of issue we were facing is like crazy. We, we have incremented the counter value, but we haven't actually overrided this one. We haven't replaced this value here. This still is zero. If we click never matter, this one would be still zero. So we need to actually replace that value there. So for that, we, we can just say like a counter. So this um, counter here we have uh, created. So counter dot uh, maybe inner HTML is equal to uh, the actual counter value. So with this being said, I, I, I'll just make this one on the three sides here. So yeah, with this one, if we save and come back in here, you can see that the counter gets incremented and it's actually decrementing as well. So you can see it is working perfectly fine. Now reset, we'll actually reset that step. So everything is perfect. You can see that everything is perfectly working. So yeah, that's all about this simple project here. And hope you understood the concept. And uh, if you have any sorts of doubts or errors, please let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon here to it. And also, if you haven't joined our Telegram and WhatsApp groups, please uh, feel free to join them. The links will be in the pinned comment below. So that's it, guys. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the very next one.